Stella, could you tell me your name, please? Yes, my name is Jan Philipp Schlüter, and I'm working for the ARD German Radio, uh, the South African part, which is based in Johannesburg. Could you hold up your badge, maybe, so I get enough help to so get your name right? Okay, so there we are. It's really complicated because this is the French spell. It Philippe. is. Yes, it doesn't my look mother's German. French. No, my mother's French. So okay, yes. and you're here as a journalist in Cape Town. Exactly. Attending these UN events. So what is was it? What is it like to be here as media? Is it easy? to find things to report on? Uh, I think it's easy to find different topics which can be reports later. Uh, this, is a, this is like a fair and a conference and of course you can meet many people that are really interesting and have interesting projects running at home. Uh, but I think it's for, for radio reports is a bit too, too uh, how would I say, uh, yeah, it's, it's not, it has not the atmosphere that you need. I mean, you can make interviews, you can get many informations, you can meet a lot of people, but um, that's not really the, the kind of radio work we would do. But I think as a start, to know where to go later and where to dig deeper, it's a very good opportunity. So do you think that this community, this water community, does a good job when it comes to communicating with media? Uh, they could do a better job. <laughs> uh, I would say, I, as I work as the general correspondent here, so I'm not at all into this topic uh, from the beginning, you know, uh, and I cover different actual issues, and this was one of them. And uh, then uh, when, when I asked, um, I wrote a mail to, uh, to get uh, uh, my accreditation, and uh, this worked out fine, and then I asked several questions about interview partners, about facilities for journalists and so on, and I didn't get any answers. And when I arrived here yesterday, they said, well, I don't know, just ask him or ask her, ask him. So uh, I know that there is a special program for journalists, but I'm not into that because I don't have enough time. And uh, I think for the normal journalists who just come here to have a look, to report, there could be a little more support. So what would you like to see? I mean, what kind of initiatives would be useful for you? What kind of news are you looking for? And what kind of help? Um, I think there's one topic that really struck into my mind here that I found really interesting is uh, that many people say that the ultimate goal to get better water supply for people worldwide is to make like a decentralization. I think it's the right word. And um, I think that's really interesting and see like how, how little towns um, build their own water supply and how they get support and I think it's a big fight against uh, the big companies and that's always interesting for journalists as soon as you get a fight this is an interesting topic and I think here you can find small companies that have new technologies against the big big companies that still work on the old technologies that are really expensive and uh, I think that would be really interesting to cover and of course to see how, how local community-based projects work uh, in different countries all over the world. I think that's, that's interesting. So good luck with the reporting. Thank you very much. And thank you for taking the time. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you.